So you're looking to purchase the Elite Force 1911 TAC model? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Airsoft Dad, and in today's video, I will discuss, review, and offer my thoughts on the Elite Force 1911 TAC Airsoft replica. Having a trusty sidearm as a backup is a good idea and a necessity for many Airsoft players. While there are many Airsoft pistols available on the market, today's focus will be on the Elite Force 1911 TAC model. As with all 1911s, the Elite Force 1911 TAC is patterned from John Moses Browning's original design. The feel of this replica is very close to its real steel brethren. Empty, the replica weighs 1 pound 11 ounces. Loaded, the replica weighs 2 pounds 2 ounces. The 5 inch slide has front and rear cocking serrations. The full length frame includes a 1913 accessory rail. Both the slide and the frame are made of aluminum. The mainspring housing is made of steel from what I can tell. This replica has blowback action that emulates live fire recoil. When the magazine is empty, the slide locks open. The pistol runs off of a single 12 gram CO2 cartridge and has a magazine capacity of 15 rounds. Elite Force does offer an optional 27 round extended magazine for this pistol as well. The three hole bow trigger on this replica has little take up and breaks reliably at four and a half pounds. It's a decent trigger for skirmishes, a little too heavy for speed QB play. The grip safety and ambidextrous thumb safety are active. This means they need to be engaged for the pistol to fire. The grip panels on this replica are plastic and offer moderate texture. The sights are fixed with a white three dot design and have a Novak style rear. The pistol's hop up is adjustable allowing you to align the point of impact with your point of aim. In the bottom of the mainspring housing includes a lanyard loop. Because this pistol has a 1913 or Picatinny rail, this pistol requires a holster made for a gun with an accessory rail. Moving past the features of this replica, let's talk about performance. First is the velocity test. I tested the pistol's velocity using BBs and weights 0 .20, 0 .25, and 0.28. I want to measure both speed and joules using the weights most used on the field. I also want to see if my results matched Elite Force's claim of 345 feet per second when using 0.20 gram BBs. To make all things equal, the best I could, for my test I used Elite Force BBs in the stated weights and CO2 from Umrex, Elite Force's parent company. Using the 0.20 gram BBs, my 5 shot average was 330 feet per second. While my average SPS results were lower than the Elite Force's claim of 345, I feel the difference is negligible at best. The 0.25 gram BBs had an average of 301.7 FPS, and the 0.28 gram BBs had an average of 292.96 FPS. For my accuracy test, I kept things simple. I set up a target indoors at 20 feet, took 12 shots offhand with a loose sight picture. I wanted to see the group size of the shots and the point of impact based on my point of aim. My group size was 5 inches with 2.5 inches of lateral spread. The center of point of impact was about five inches above my aim point, which was the black dot on the target. In short, the accuracy was in line with my expectations. Considering the fact, I just took the pistol from the box and didn't make any adjustments to the hop up. I'm confident that if I had slowed my shooting, tuned the hop up, and taken more care in aiming, the group size would have been much tighter and on point. So what are my thoughts on the Elite Force 1911 TAC? I like the pistol and I would recommend this pistol. The replica was 100% during all my tests. I was able to get 30 rounds of the pistol, which is two magazines from a single CO2 cartridge. From the things I observed and the experience with this replica, there's just one thing that I would like to see improved. It's the grip panels. To me, they feel cheap on an otherwise very solid replica. For a buck or two, I'm confident Elite Force could have used some better grip panels. That said, because the panels on this replica are patterned from genuine 1911 grips, you could easily make this replica one of a kind by installing your favorite 1911 grip panels. The Elite Force 1911 TAC currently retails for under $150 and includes a 60-day factory warranty. If you're looking for a real-to-life airsoft replica that is fun to shoot and reliable, give the Elite Force 1911 TAC a try. If you felt the information I provided was helpful, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, tell a friend about my channel, and leave your question or comments below. Until next time, be safe, call your hits, and don't be a jerk. Thanks for watching.